What it do, Cosmic Crew? Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, I got another video for you. So my next Aries is Miss Taina. Okay. So let's see. Who is she? We gonna give another good shuffle here. Who is Taina? <laughs> Let's go. Who is Taina? There's something here about a male friend or her having um a lot of male friends. Okay. I feel like there's a friend of hers that really wants to be with her, but she keep him in the friend zone. Okay, somebody feels trapped in the friend zone here. Um there's something about her being some type of um influence behind the scenes. And not really getting credit for her work. I feel like she has a lot of anxiety. Make it overwhelm very easily. Okay? Something about put, putting up boundaries. There's also something here about her being a martyr. Like putting herself on the line. And sacrificing her own sanity. Okay? Okay? Is Taina? I get a sense she doesn't she doesn't like fighting. She doesn't like um going back and forth. Like she really does not like um drama. Also, it's like knowing a lot of secrets. I feel like she knows a lot of secrets about the industry, about famous people. Also, hating having her, her business exposed. I get a sense she was kind of, you know, she was born into this shit, right? And that's just the, um, a part of being <laughs> in the limelight is, you know, your business gets put out there. You can't really have a private lifestyle. It's something here about, I don't, I don't feel like she's really patient, Okay, she likes to make things happen. Not really waiting for divine timing. Just kind of making making things happen. Making things fit. Making things work. Not really going with the flow. Okay. Kind of smothering as well. Somebody here. Um, it's like she feels undesirable. It's like her, her self-esteem might not be the highest. Okay. Now she either attracts a lot of uh, attracts a lot of people that kind of love bomb her just to get around her, or that's what she does. But there's this energy of a bait and switch, like acting one way and then like totally switching um, into who you really are. I feel like she is kind of spoiled, okay? Kind of spoiled, but doesn't want to appear that way or act that way. There's a, there's something about her either not liking smoke at all. Okay, but maybe she'll do an edible or something. There is some connection with the, the police. So I feel like she's the type that'll snitch. She, there might be somebody, a distant relative that is affiliated with the um the law. Okay. I feel like <laughs> she'll tell on you. <laughs> There's something about a quinceanera. I feel like she's always been gifted a, a golden child. You know, very smart at a young age, okay? There's something about what happened when she was um 
like in middle school. I feel like whatever happened to her in middle school or as a tween, okay, kind of put her in alignment with who she is now. Always, I feel like, um, whatever happened to her around puberty. There's something about her feeling really, um, stagnant. Like, not really having a, a, um... A sense of direction. But wanting to persevere. Wanting to prove things. It's like not really. It's like there's this part of her that. Was born into you know a certain lifestyle. But not wanting to just live off of that. Definitely wanting something. And to be something of her own. And to, to have something. And you know cultivate something. That's separate from her family. Or you know the money that her family has. But it's like just still trying to find herself. There's definitely something here about um, a medicine woman, a root worker here. So she may um, either have one or be into some type of spirituality herself, a conjurer herself. All right. There's something about a car wreck. Now, she may, she may have conjured up a car wreck or some type of vehicle trouble for somebody. It's like, I get a sense that she, she can kind of sense things coming. I feel like she may warn people of things before they happen. There's something about being well aware of fame and the rock star lifestyle. I feel like there was a part of her or a time in her life where she might have been all up in it. Or maybe when she was a child, she was like, oh, no, I'll never smoke. I'll never drink. And then as she got older and got more influence around her, it's, a, it's getting peer pressure. Whatever she does, it's socially. Okay? And I feel like she hates being alone. She hates being by herself. It's, it's a bit codependent, okay? I feel like attracting people who are incompatible, though, but just needing someone there. There's definitely some type of altar here that they have, some type of sacred space. I've, there's there's some chaos magic being done, okay? She can definitely, it's, you know who Tyena is, the warrior, goddess okay she could definitely make some shit shake mayhem destruction upheaval tragedy from an altar i feel like whatever whatever whoever spirit and deity i don't think they really play about her it's also something about some legalities from a stolen identity some type of fraudulent activities here I feel like she has a very strong lineage and bloodline. Okay, and like I said, she's trying to build up some type of empire of her own. Like, make a name for herself. There might be some type of repossession. Or someone might sue her for some type of um property. Also, I also see some type of car fraud. Like, getting in an accident or, like, making something happen to a car for some type of um settlement. There is a open um, case here involving a murder. What is this? This might be that male friend. There's something, I don't know if this, there's a Virgo here. There's something like traumatic that happened to her. We got a Virgo and a Taurus. A Virgo, Taurus, and a Gemini. Who, who is this? It's something about her, um, what is this? I feel like there was like a major change in her life. 
okay? There was something that happened to where at one point she might have been promiscuous. She might have been um, kind of shysty and backdooring people, kind of a thought, okay? But I feel like there was a time where she kind of elevated, um, maybe even did some type of celibacy, kind of cleansed herself. And there's definitely something about a, 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 a cultist, a male occultist here, some type of witch doctor. So I don't know if she got like a baba, a baba lao, okay? Yeah, there's definitely some type of authority figure here. Some type of um leader and instructor that kind of um guides her. Okay. I feel like her family may try to open some type of um factory. Maybe some type of lawn care service. Definitely some type of um trade. Like wanting wanting something like with her name on the truck. And like putting her family on, putting her people on, like hiring people, developing things, like having having something that's, you know, not it's like she doesn't just want to like be a model. She doesn't it's like she wants to have like a um a business, a business that can hire people from the community and like give people jobs and like help other people. Like I see like lawn care service. There's something here about some insomnia. Okay. In a female relative. What's going on here? There's definitely strong feminine energy around her. I feel like um, she's really good at congratulating other people, motivating other people. Um, there's a part of her that really accepts people for who they are. But there, like, there may be a female relative that passed away and the energy surrounding it is kind of suspicious. I also feel like um, her mother is very influential, is a strong, superior. I, I'm, I'm seeing the supreme. There may be some coven here. Some type of sister circle. Okay. One more. You've been here for a minute. One more. There's, like I said, there's something here about a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, not really feeling comfortable with who she is, still finding herself. There's definitely something about um, mental health. She might even start speaking out more about it. Um, And definitely, I feel like she is uh, very prideful. It might be hard for her to accept some kind of help. I feel like she does deal with a lot of things on her own. Somebody might get Baker acted. I don't know. Okay. This might be a cousin or something. I don't know. It might be her mama. I feel like she's, it's like she's internalized a lot of her mother's pain, a lot of her mother's um, lifestyle choices and like really wanting to um, do something different while still being totally engulfed in, you know, the, the life. Okay. Until next time.